Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to reverse a string in Java. So it is one of the most important interview coding questions that is asked by the interviewer how to reverse a string in Java. So let's say if you have a string, so this is my string which have the value code crush. So we want the output like reverse of this particular string. So whatever input we have entered in this string C O D E C R U S H. So we want the output in the reverse format. So the first character here will be H then S then U then R and so on. So this is the reverse of a string. So before implementing the logic for reverse to string, you need to understand two important methods of string. So first one is length one. So if you have a string, then you can provide this method str.length to get the number of characters or the number of length of that particular string. So here I have nine characters. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have the output for this as nine. One thing you need to remember here indexing of string starts from zero like the first character is stored at zeroth position but the length starts from one like if you consider this position so it is like one two three so length is always starting from one but the indexing starts from zero and the second important method you need to understand is caret so this particular method will provide the character at that particular index position. So if you provide here one, so char at one, so it will provide you the value as O because this C is located at zeroth index position. This O is located at first index position. D is located at second index position and so on. So always the last character will always be present at length minus one index position. So if the length of string is nine, then the last index position will be Eight. So I hope you understand these two methods. Now let's start implementing the logic to how to reverse a string. So here I have one class reverse string. Inside this class I have one main method. Now let's first declare one string. So let's say string str and let's say we have the value as code crush. Code crush. Now this is my string and you need to reverse the string. So let's declare one more variable to store the reverse of string. Let me declare it as RSTR which stands for reverse string and we will declare that value to nothing like it will be just empty. Now what we will do? We will have for loop here. So let's say for int i is equal to 0. It will start from 0 and it will continue till index position like if I say string dot length so here we have the function so if the string length is 9 here so it will continue till 8 because that what we want if the length is 9 then we will have the index position till 8 so our logic will say here it will start from 0 and it will continue till less than string dot length and we will increment the value of i for each iteration so we will say here i plus plus and inside this for loop now our logic start to reverse a string so what we can do we know the method here caret so caret will provide you the character at that particular index position so if i say here if i provide here variable ch and if i say str dot caret so here you will get the built-in function caret and you need to provide index position. So I will say here i. So what will happen? Now the value of i is 0. So when I say caret i, so it means caret 0th position. So 0th position we have c here. And let me declare this character here. So we will say here char ch. So this is just a character which is storing one single character. If I print here. Let me show you output here sysout and we will print ch. Let me run this code. So here you can see for the first time the index position will be 0 so we are getting here c. Then index position will be 1 so we are getting o. So we are getting a c o d e 
C R U S H. So every time we are able to access a particular character position. Now we just need to reverse it and store it in a reverse string variable. So how to do that? So we already accessed one single character, right? So in the reverse string, we will say reverse string is equal to char ch and we will add the reverse string here. So what let me show you how it will work. So let's say first time our reverse string is empty, right? And we have character at zeroth position. So we have character as C. So it will say C plus reverse string. So reverse string is empty. So we are getting here C only. So reverse string will have the value as C now. Okay. And the next time the value of I will be incremented to one. So what will be stored in this character? Character at first position. So which will be O. Now O plus reverse string. So reverse string is already C. So O plus C will generate us O C, right? So this is the updated value of reverse string now O C. Third time the character at index position 2. So CH will have the value as D. So it will add D plus reverse string. So reverse string is already O C. So D plus O C will be D O C, right? So you can see here our reverse string is getting reverse of string so here you can see c then o then d the next time it will be e then again it will be c then r then u then s and then h so it will reverse our string c o d e c r u s h now let's run this code whether this logic is working or not as we didn't print anything right so we need to print as well so we will say sys out and we will say reverse string reverse string is equal to and then we will print the rstr let's run this code so we see we are getting here the reverse of string so c o d e c r u s h if i replace it with hi then we will get the reverse of i see we are getting here h i if i replace it with uh, something called like then it will reverse the word like so we are getting here e k i l so in this way you need to reverse a string so with the help of caret method you are able to access the character at that particular index position and you just need to append that particular character with a reverse string so i hope you have understood these two important statements here in this code that act as a implementation to reverse your string so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching Thank you.